Hey guys, how are we going to break down this project about ilioprost? We broke it down into four parts. What is indication, dosage and administration, and precautions? Tony, you take what ilioprost is. Shanae, you can do indications, Leo, the dosage and administration, and I'll take the precautions. Tony, you take what ilioprost is. Shanae, you can do indications, Leo, the dosage and administration, and I'll take the precautions. We are ready to go over what we have research. I am. Me too. Then let's go practice. Y'all heard of this drug called Ventavis or Ilioprost <laughs> that dilates systemic and pulmonary arterial vascular bed? Yes, it's indicated for the treatment of pulmonary arterial hypertension in patients with the New York Heart Association. New York Heart Association? What is that? It is a functional and therapeutic classification of physical activities in patients with cardiac dysfunction. What does that mean? Well, patients with class 3 or 4 symptoms have higher limitations and restrictions on physical activities. Interesting. Ventavis has been shown to improve exercise capacity and increase walking distance. Is that an age group? It is not indicated for anyone under the age of 18. Ventavis is supplying 1 milliliter ampoules in two concentrations, 10 or 20 micrograms per milliliter. The first dose of 2.5 micrograms should be given and monitored for any side effects. If there are no reactions, then increasing to 5 micrograms should be okay. How is it given? Mentavis is an inhale solution that should be given 6 to 9 times daily when awake. It should only be used with an intended aerosol device given more than 2 hours apart. I wonder if there's anything to worry about. Ventavis has not been studied with patients that have lung diseases like COPD and asthma. It can cause bronchospasms and should not be mixed with any other agents. However, patients with underlying lung disorders may benefit from pre-treatment with a beta agonist.